Dr. Mann, what is the what is your medical interest in the removal of these bodies? Well, uh, in our work as uh, medical examiners, we have a great number of bodies come to us over the course of the years that uh, have been dead for some time, and the problem of ascertaining when death has occurred uh, arises. For example, uh, we have a body recovered from uh, water that's been in there, uh, say, anywhere from a month to three or four months. Uh, we have to understand the changes that go on in order to get a reasonable uh, estimation uh, as to the time the death occurred. And this, of course, is extremely important uh, to the investigating authorities who really must know that they have some answer to this question. Doctor, we understand there's quite a, a bit of Virginia and Southern history connected with the discovery of some bodies. We understand that quite frequently you, people come across Confederate graves and bodies. Is that correct? Yes, you see, uh, there have been many engagements in uh, in Virginia, and uh, every time the uh, uh, site is cleared, uh, especially uh, outside of uh, more settled areas, uh, the bulldozers will run across graves, and many of these contain skeletal remains, and the problem of identification comes up. And uh, uh, often, of course, these are casualties that uh, uh, were suffered in, in uh, Civil War uh, engagements. But uh, uh, really, uh, the problem of identification in the hands of the expert is, is, is not a difficult one. It's more time-consuming than anything else, but it's fascinating what can be, uh, be learned from the examin examination of skeletal remains. Uh, for example, we have identified uh, two persons in which nothing remained following a very severe fire, but uh, a powdery portion of three teeth in each, which had a small uh, dental bridge. But the dentist was able to positively identify these as his handiwork, you see, and made positive identification. You know, there was no question because these were fixed bridges and they couldn't, uh, they couldn't be taken off the body.